You know, you talk about having a lot of fun as the sexual chocolate character, but the infamous fake retirement speech, the salmon jacket, you must have had so much fun in those five minutes with the crowd in the palm of your hand, knowing that at the end of it, you were going to turn on them. I did, man. It was like the highlight of my wrestling career as far as um, setting an example. Only Mark setting the tempo. Just there was nobody. There was no Undertaker, no Randy Orton in there to save me. Um, I had to go out there and perform that. And um, I take a lot of pride in the fact that it built probably four months. It took me four months to get everybody. Uh, condition that I was retiring, that it's, it's, it was going to happen. So basically, I lied to everybody's face for about four months. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But that's what I had to do to make it happen and make it real. And I finally came to the conclusion that just like in any method acting philosophy, I had to embody that. And that was my real retirement. I never did one after that. Yeah, because that was the one that I was going to be known for. That was the one that I was going to get to thank all the people that supported me and backed me and, and that I worked with. And and I did that. And I, I, I got to thank the fans from the bottom of my heart. Like like it was 100 percent real. But, you know, in every film and every show, uh, you got to play the tunes to what made that show good and it was about wrestling so john cena had to face the feet had to face the heat whose idea was this storyline originally vince's because i told vince i wanted to retire and he was like no and i was like yeah for real like i, I miss my kids like I don't, I don't i get to see my family like two days a week and you know i made a good living in my life and i didn't buy ferraris and you know $36 million palaces and stuff that you had to upkeep them. I, I did okay. And, you know, it was one of, it's one of those things where I think the most joy that I'm getting in my life is what I'm doing right now. And that's hanging out with them. Did you realize when you showed up to raw that day that the salmon jacket was going to be as infamous as it became? I did not. I, I just wanted to look sharp and, uh, I never had any costuming or wardrobe people. Or, I always dressed myself. I thought I did a pretty good job. And when I saw that jacket, I was like, that's what I'm retiring in right there. That's the one. And, um, you know, when I when I showed up dressed up, uh, Vince just started smiling. He was like, just shook his head because he, he, he realized the moment that what was about to happen. I, I I honestly, uh, I knew that I, we were going to get them, but I didn't think about the jacket being iconic. I think the real, I think the real wasted moment here is after that, you should have won the title. I feel like it would have made so much sense if you beat Cena and got a run. You know what? That wasn't Cena's fault. That wasn't the WWE's fault. If anybody should be mad, it should be me because I'm the one that said, look, man, I, I, I want to go home. Like, I, I love to stay here and play with the boys and get out here and make some more money and all of that stuff. But like I said, the most important thing to me was uh, going home and doing what I'm doing. Like, this is God's work as well as, you know, what's expected out of a man. And, you know, it's um, for a lack of a better way to describe it, it's me giving back because I have to teach my kids how to be me. One of these days, they're going to be parents. Mm. And the ultimate thing that makes you a parent is sacrifice. There's a lot of things that I could have done, but I didn't do. And I want them to know that. There's stuff that you're just not going to be able to do. I never went on spring break. I was an Olympic athlete. I trained during the summer in the spring i had i had to work and i want them to see that hard work pays off and if you sacrifice you get rewarded and a lot of people they you know i don't think they fully um give it up 
but and then they don't when the success don't come uh they have nobody to scream at but themselves and uh, i point that out to them every day you don't want to be that person looking in the mirror going man i, I can't stand you you should have did this welcome to my brand new youtube channel CVV clips and as the name suggests the clips from my longer conversations are gonna live here So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those little nuggets of goodness that we're gonna have here